What's up guys, welcome back to Shodabini TV. Today is another amazing day to get out there and we're gonna be better today than we were yesterday. And for today's video, we're gonna be looking at how is it like being an engineering major and also playing a division one sport. So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, is maybe doing engineering really hard? Is it really hard to manage my classes? Well, the easiest way to tell you, like, engineering is hard. If you're gonna go into it, just know that if you're gonna be playing sports at the same time, your GPA isn't gonna look the nicest. But it can. I mean, if you're if you're willing to sacrifice everything and put more emphasis into your academics, yes, you can probably get some high GPA scores. But as of right now, for me, I have a good balance between soccer and engineering. So as of right now, my GPA is like a 3.1, 3.2, somewhere along those lines. And for me, I'm satisfied because I still get to focus on my soccer career. So first things first, the easiest way to complete your degree is you actually have to figure out what you want earlier on. So whenever I first initially graduated high school, my mind wasn't too focused and I didn't really know what major I was gonna do. So I ended up going into business because you know a lot of athletes don't want to do the schoolwork, so they go into something that's much easier and i went for business and then you know two years in i realized this is the worst thing i've ever done in my entire life so i was like there's no way i'm gonna go to school and maybe get loans just so i can come out and do something i hate so i ended up changing my major up and choosing engineering something i like i like tech as you can see uh, i'm big on tech so i like to build things and I want to be part of the crew that gets to create it. Once you find your degree, because for me, I wanted to make my I could, my school career much cheaper. So I decided to go to a community college and then transfer out to a university. My graduating class should have been done back in 2019. And because I changed my major, I have pushed it back like another two years. So pretty much if you decide earlier on what you want to do, no matter what sport you play, I promise you can complete it. Like I thought it was going to be impossible for me to get past Cal 3 and differential equations. And today I'm sitting here a champ. I've taken one of the hard, I've, I've taken the highest mathematics classes for undergraduate. I didn't think it was possible at first. I had C's in math classes back in high school, but I come to college in Cal 3. I got an A in it. Um, differential equations, I'm currently in it right now. So. As long as you keep pushing, you're gonna make it through. And if you decide to go to a community college, be sure to take classes that do align with your, you know, the university, whichever university you wanna to go to, because it's gonna save you so much time for you to take those classes that the university actually takes. I transferred in with 65 credits. The school only took 43, pretty much laughing me, laughing in front of my face. And I pretty much lost a whole year for nothing. So once you become an engineer and you're playing a division one sport, now the question may be like, how do I balance my schedule? How do I manage my classes? Because all of these classes are pretty much on steroids. So the best way I'll say is if you don't have any types of planners, go ahead and get one. And for me at the beginning of the year, I would like to open up my planner and fill up all, fill in all the test dates for the whole semester. Any dates your teacher will give you, any important dates, just fill it out. Sometimes you forget, but whenever you come to a new week, you just open up your planner, you're gonna see, okay, this is what I have, and oh, this assignment is gonna be due that day, and maybe you can get ahead and start on it ahead of time. The second thing I usually, that's gonna help you a lot if you're gonna do any hard majors such as engineering, pretty much you have to create your own groups. A lot of the times people go and do everything on their own, but your classmates are pretty much your best friend. If you can find a good solid group of those who are willing to succeed, when you guys put five brains together, you can study a lot faster because there'll be times where you don't understand. But if you're the person that is always alone, you're gonna have to, you know, cry alone with nobody to help you. But at least if you have somebody to cry with you, you know, one of you guys might get the, the bulb in your head and you might get a good idea on what to do next. Another thing a lot of people be asking me is pretty much, how do I manage my soccer compared to engineering and does it affect my game and stuff so the easiest way to say it is it all comes down to what is your priority you know ncaa you know they have the motive that you know student athlete first well student first and then athlete second and as a student athlete you have the option to be athlete first student second or student first and athlete second nobody wants to fall because then you become uneligible 
but the amount of time you spend studying or a certain grade you're trying to achieve that all varies depending on your end goal some people don't want to go to college but they're forced to go because that's the only way they can go into the professional realm a lot of basketball players soccer players or whatever sport it may be they're forced to go to a university because in the american system that's like the only way the easiest way to get into the professional world so if your goal is to become a, a professional athlete, a lot of the times you're gonna put more emphasis on training on your own private time. So unlike regular students who on their free time, they can you know crack a book open and get some extra chapters in. For you, it may be, okay, let me crack my sports bag open and grab my basketball, grab my soccer ball, my baseball and go do some extra hitting. And you know, you just gotta put those incentives so you can be successful in the long run. Yes, you know, everybody have, everyone will have the same test. But since you decided to play a sport, you're gonna have less time to study just in general. While everybody gets eight hours to study, you may get four because you spent four hours training. And that's just something you have to learn how to balance. And a lot of that comes with experience. So if you have a planner, that will tell you when everything is due. And you know, whenever you, you plan out your days, at least make some time for you to study every day. That's gonna help you always get study time and last but not least, just find out what is it that you want. If you don't wanna play professional after your collegiate career, you wanna be sure you focus on your studies. But if you're trying to play professional afterwards and you don't plan on going to college or using your degree, then choose a degree that's not gonna hinder your performance and you know, put a lot of emphasis in your training. But at the end of the day, don't be afraid to do engineering because engineering is just like any other major. You go to class, you study, you sleep, you take a test and you move on. And it may just take a little longer if you're not good with technology or whatever, but with consistent practice, you know, you're gonna reach there. There's gonna be some class that you may have to retake and I would prefer you guys to retake them back in the community college or later on in early in the beginning, get a good foundation. And then the rest of the ride will be so much smoother. I'm currently a junior at UTRGV. I have three semesters left before I get my degree. And it was hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. If you do engineering, it's gonna be hard. And um, you just can't quit. The moment you quit, it's the moment you lose. So as long as you keep pushing forward, you're gonna keep passing your classes and God's gonna bless you a lot. So by all means, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and you know, leave something in the comment section below. And question of the day is, what major are you trying to do whenever you transfer out? Just let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Chitabini TV is out.